Another artist who epitomizes this sense of a modernist sensibility with a strong um, tie to representation and legibility is Edward Hopper. And Hopper is an artist who one does find represented uh, a few times in Emilio's library. And again, when people have made the connection to Hopper before, it sometimes seems a little more facile. You know, we see building facades and and you know, it's a city, and so uh, one wants to make the tie. But there's, I think, a different story in Hopper's work, the story of the urbanization of America, the story of the migration from rural populations to urban ones, the story of isolation and alienation that in the majority of Sanchez's urban scenes is lacking. And even when we don't have people in those scenes, they don't necessarily speak of that isolation effect. What I think gets overlooked with the connection to Hopper are the later Hoppers, where that dialogue between rural and urban and migration and alienation is not necessarily as strong. And one finds a greater interest in life and in still retaining a sense of representationality, but using light and shadow, and formalizing the play of those light and shadows against each other to almost create independent abstract shapes and designs in their own way, something that might have been inspired by direct observation, but it sort of takes on a formal life of its own. And we can see that the lower is Hopper's light by, by the uh, sea, and on the top is um, one of the um, uh, Brooklyn paintings that uh, uh, Emilio did, and you can see the same sort of dialogue, and it is one, of course, that we have many rich examples of on the walls around us uh, in this uh, show, and, you know, helped inspire the title of the book, Hard Light. So, one does see that it's, again, the, the dialogue is there, but it's not always the way people uh, immediately want to think it, and it requires a somewhat deeper knowledge of American modernism and about these figures to plumb those depths.